The events following Nigeria's success at the 2023 AFCON in Côte d'Ivoire earlier in the year has been very intriguing for Nigerian football. From the resignation of Portuguese tactician Jose Pesero to the long wait by the Nigeria Football Federation to name a substantive coach for the Super Eagles. There were words of caution that we may be heading down the valley of another World Cup qualification misfortunes if we fail to put things right early enough in our preparations for the qualifying games against South Africa and Benin Republic. Yes, it's worrisome because um, I know after we defeated South Africa, uh, the semi-final of the African Nation Cup, they said that uh, they are waiting for us uh, in Johannesburg and also the match that we're going to play in Lagos. So they are much, much ready, are waiting for us. But uh, you find out that uh, we're having issues of uh, uh, coaching. And uh, I think that there's something that uh, NFF has to do with uh, very fast so that at least the coach can start organizing and trying to see maybe uh, he make a team before, before the time arrives because time is going faster. There was also the fear of being cautious about appointing a new manager, foreign or local. A coach that will not incur the detriment of missing out of another World Cup after Qatar 2022. This is not the time to develop or prepare a coach, but it has to do with World Cup. One. But this is also a moment that a local coach could be appointed. But with a sound committee that knows what football is all about. A sound committee that could, that could look into a scientific aspect and the human aspect of that individual. Who the coach is, I don't know. But a sound committee is just like when you when you have a doctor diagnosing the patients. So you must have a solid committee to do that. It is not a question to say because we say an indigenous coach. No. Sound committee to scrutinize and get an indigenous coach on one hand and to get a foreign coach at the other hand. The reason of the foreign coach we don't want any excuse, we must get to work on. After the long waiting game of intrigues and internal football politics, Finidi George was unveiled as the new Super Eagles manager. If I'm here, I'm doing something good. We are winning, definitely. You will see me around for a very long time. However, from some quarters, the NFF had no options because of its lean financial pulse to afford a world class coach. Mm. And I think that, you know, sometimes you bite the bullet. Um, and the real issue is what is the Super Eagles coach, what is the job? It's really to manage the players, to ensure that they play to a system, to a plan, and to help them to win matches. Now, the coach has to be comfortable for him to do that. He has to understand football, um, he has to understand international football. Um, I think he needs to have friends in different places that can help um, iron out some issues. You know, I'm, I'm talking of international football sphere. Uh, he has to be a respected coach. Um, and I think he has all of this. Um, he has to be respected by the players for his achievements. I think Infinity has that. And you know, another important thing is the finances. Um, if from what I see, if we're going to go for a foreign coach, we would have, we would have to go for a high-level coach um, and really can we afford it. There were also mixed feelings about the elite brigade of Europe-based players gelling with an indigenous coach. I was listening to one of the former players some time ago, Jonathan Apubo 
who was saying that the Nigerian players don't respect the, the coaches, the Nigerian coaches? Why not? You all played in this country. The best of Nigerian players started from this country. I would let people know that in 1980, I was the one that led the team into the field of play at the National Stadium. And I can still tell you what we did in supporting the Green Eagles then to win that Cup of Nations for the very first time. I can also tell you what we did in Tunisia in 94 before we won the Cup of Nations. In 2013, in South Africa, the same. But I want to let you know that if the players don't respect the coaches, such a player doesn't need, doesn't need a place in the Super Eagles. You must respect the player and the coach. No matter how much you're handy, it's your boss. So I want to plead with the players, one, to start respecting their coach. Whether it's a Nigerian coach or a foreign coach. Already before the match against South Africa, there were some seeming cracks in Fenidi's backroom staff as Daniel Omokashi pulled out as assistant coach with few days to the big match against South Africa. Earlier in a media party in Lagos, Finidi had deliberately omitted Omokashi from the list of his assistants. So, uh, my assistants. Um, these are people that I picked. Um, I've known them, not uh, now that I'm having a job. Um, worked, spoken to them, know their capability what they can do, they are still um, actively um, in, in, in clubs and um, yeah, um, they, I spoke to them, they, they, they decided that uh, they want to work with me, they want to add value to what uh, I'm doing and um, for us to win together. So uh, these are sound coaches. A lot of experience, some have worked for over 20 years. Um, you know, if you're working in an entity for a very long time, that means you're doing something good. Uh, if not, they'll kick you out. That is how it is, you know. Um, if I'm here, I'm doing something good. We are winning, definitely. You will see me around for a very long time. So these are, these are coaches that um, have been busy um, since 2005 till date. Uh, it's not that they've, they've retired, they, they, are, they are just idle, they are still busy, active in the game and um, we will need those uh, experiences when things will get tight, you know, and um, that's why I picked those guys and uh, they will come on board they will, to help, you know, uh, I can't see it all, so you need people that will come. We have uh, Benjamin James, you all know the names, uh, who, who, who was a defender as well. Um, I was a midfielder, attacker, in my playing time or days. Uh, sometimes you need people that have that eye defensively that can say, coach, this is not, this is not going right. Uh, we are struggling in this part. So um, it's a well-calculated pick. And um, we have also a fitness coach, which is needed in this modern day football, and um, a match analyst. You know, that is uh, what that guy has done so far is amazing. Uh, what he has sent to me, uh, analyzing player by player, not my own players, uh, not the Super Eagles players. But uh, the opponent, you know, we're playing South Africa first, and uh, what I have on my phone is, is amazing. You know, so it's not that I'm not watching, but when somebody will break it down, uh, the strength, weaknesses, I think, um, it's a fantastic job. So uh, I can't wait for them to come and get to Nigeria, and um, we'll have our first meeting uh, before going to to Uyu. The home draw with the Bafana Bafana in Uyu and the loss to Bene Republic in Abidjan has again set Nigeria on the cramped and narrow road to another shaky World Cup qualification journey.